Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video, I'm going to install Raspberry Pi camera to my Prusa MK3 printer. I have the Raspberry Pi Zero W board installed in the printer that is connected on the back side of the ANSI board. And I did a previous video where I installed the Raspberry Pi itself. But in this video, I'm going to install the camera and using the mounting system I designed. And I have a previous video of that process. But in this video, I'm going to install everything and, and show you what you need to get this on the printer. So let's have a look after the intro. <laughs> So there are several things that you need to have to get started with this and I made an order for those things on the Atafruit website and I will link to everything in the video description. But first I have the Raspberry Pi camera version 2, then I have a thing called extender thingy and that is a connector that connects a cable from the Raspberry Pi Zero W to a longer cable and the cable from the Raspberry Pi Zero is in a different size plug on the board itself so you need a exchange from that plug to the plug that is in on the Raspberry Cam and then I was trying to find the cable for the new Raspberry Pi Zero and that has a smaller end but those cables are not available in, in the length I needed so I needed the extender thingy and a uh, longer cable and I was using a 24 inch camera cable it is a little bit too long but I made the design for the cable management so you can tuck away the XX cable it's maybe 3 or 4 inches too long and could probably get away with uh, a uh, shorter cable but I used the 24 inch cable I had then you need a M3 bolt that is 20 centimeters long and this is gonna hold the camera mount and you can get this from the spare back of the Prusa MK3 printer so you don't have to make, make a purchase but I will link to the other fruit items for the Raspberry Cam so you can get those parts ordered the first thing that you want to do is, is install the camera in the housing um, the housing has a four packs that the camera will slide into. Just be careful not to put your finger on the lens so it will get dirty. But the camera goes in like this and then you want to install the cable. And just make sure the cable is oriented in a right way. Uh, the blue part of the cable will be on top and then you slide it in like this and then you can take the cover that will just snap on and there are pegs on the cover that will hold down the PCB that just snaps in. You can if you want to put a tiny bit of super glue but I found this fit just to snap in perfectly and it doesn't drop out so I don't find it necessary to glue it but maybe if you're removing it at a later time it will drop out but you could always just make a tiny grip of super glue and put it in place but this is the, the first, first part of it and there's uh, this link that has the square part going in here and uh, you might want to super glue this part together so it won't uh, rattle and, but I want to install everything before I would put a glue into it and then I have two links that have a cable management system they will snap in and this link I'm showing you here it has a broken arm I still have to print this out in a better material than PLA probably ABS or, or patchy material but I will do that at a later time and then the cable can go in a bend like this like a 45 degree bend and you can just slide it underneath the cable management system so it will go like this and it will be held in place and before you snap in the last part you want to thread the cable through the, the arm and just make sure you don't twist it when you when you connect the cable through you have to make sure you don't have it oriented in the correct way so you don't uh, have a twist on the cable at the end you just have to bend the end a little bit and push it through it goes like this um, then you can snap in the last piece and you want to have some slack so you can move this around when you're happy with the position of all the links you could super glue them in a permanent place when you adjust the camera 
to your liking. But you can also, if you want to, just have two links or print one more and have more links if you want to be able to move the camera a little bit more. But I found two links in the middle like this and the end piece like this it was working quite well for me. I had the movement I needed. So this will go here. Then the piece that goes underneath the motor will have to be put here. And again, you have to thread the cable in the correct orientation. Just feed it through. And when it's like this, you can take the 13 millimeter M3 nut and push it through. And now you can mount this on the printer. And you just use the hole on the motor to align everything and, and screw it in. The parts are designed so it's flush against the, all the plastic parts. So it has the same feel to it and would be neat to print it out in the same material as the other plastic parts on the cruiser to get it with the same color. But now you can see how the camera cable is, is going underneath the links and with a 45 degree bend at the end. So now with the cable coming out in the end, uh, this part goes just by the x-axis motor cables and it won't push on the cable. It's designed in a place that is just by the cable and then you have this piece and from the top side it will be placed like this so it goes uh, goes in inside the plastic with the connectors facing up and then you take the center thingy this piece here and open up the connectors and, and put this in and you just have to be careful with those connectors not to break the, the system that clamps the cable and then you take the shorter cable plus that in the opposite end of the extender thingy so it will go like this and then you thread down through the hole and the, the PCB snaps on those pegs on the part and then uh, because the cable is a little bit too long, I push in part of the cable so it uh, goes up against the, the plastic end and that bend on the cable is okay uh, for the length of the cable and I was figuring out what cable length I needed and it's like two inches too long but I didn't find a 22 inch uh, ribbon cable on the Adafruit website but if you can find a 22 inch ribbon cable somewhere that would be a perfect length but the XX cable will just go like this and this will snap in here but first before I fix that I want to remove it and, and connect the cable to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is inside here and you just pull it out from its connectors. Here in the end is the connector. And just make sure when you're connecting, you orient the cable in a right way. So now the cable is connected and now I can install the Raspberry Pi Zero back again on the printer. And when you're doing that, you want to make sure you don't twist the cable too much. You want to have everything aligned so it goes goes like this and now the, the brown cable has a little bit too much slack so I cover that by making a bend on it like this and put the back plate on so the XX cable is going underneath the cover like so and I can screw this back on and now with the cables connected you bend this cable down and you can snap this in place start with the top part and you slide it inside and then you can slide it inside on the bottom part so it, it has a, a good clearance for the cables inside so they are not too tight inside and this will be held in place by the small notches on the, the plastic part and with a cable like this it will be able to move up and down and when you're connecting the cable you want to make sure it's not twisted so if you have the cable coming out from the, the bracket here uh, it goes down uh, like this into the extender thingy and there's no bend on it and when you tuck the cable away like this and, and put this in if you put this part at the lowest position available uh, you can push in the xx uh, cable or from the Raspberry Pi itself and snap it in like so. So 
So this will uh, be held in place in a good position and then you have this short cable bending and it will be in the correct length moving at the topmost or the bottommost part using the 24 inch cable. And if you want to have more links on, on this end, you can always use the XX cable that was inside here and drag this up and push a little bit extra cable to this part here. So you can adjust it to more positions if you want to. But um, this was my installation video on the Raspberry Pi camera for the Prusa MK2 and the MK3 printer. You can use this mount on the MK2 printer, but the part that goes to onto the NC board with the Raspberry Pi Zero is obviously not an option on the MK2 printer. But if you have a Raspberry Pi in a housing that is mounted to the country, you can use this arm nevertheless and have this camera mount in use. So I think this can be used even though you don't have the MK3 with the NC port and the Raspberry Pi Zero W. For now, this will be it for this video and I hope you like this build process on mine. And I will link to the video where I designed those parts in a previous video. You can have a look at the design process. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.